Hey guys, it's Jocelyn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm literally so excited. I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max the other day. Probably the biggest upgrade of my life because I had the iPhone XR before and I've had that since the beginning of 2019. So it is time it is time. <laughs> if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below what phone you have or maybe a phone that you're asking for for Christmas. And also, don't forget to go subscribe to my vlog channel. I'm also posting lots of content on there. So, without further ado, let's get started. Did I even say what this video is going to be about? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys what's on my iPhone. Like I said, I got this phone the other day This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I got it in the graphite color I was thinking about getting it in the gold color, but the gold was on like super duper duper long back Super duper duper long back order and I just was super eager to get it So I just got the black one my iPhone XR the phone that I had before this was also the same color So I was pretty okay with it and then my case is from this brand called Berga. It's so pretty guys literally I Love it super protecting. I literally just looked up on Amazon Marble phone cases for iPhone 13 pros and this is what came up. They have a whole bunch of colors This is really pretty ruby red one that I was looking at and I might get it as well Like I said, I got that from Amazon as well as the screen protector that I have on right now You can't tell because it's literally a screen protector. I don't know what I was showing So starting off with my lock screen. I just have a picture of me and my two best friends I love them and then this is my home screen. So my background I got off of Pinterest, but then I like kind of manipulated the colors a little bit to kind of match the theme that I have going on, I guess you would say. I don't know, she's still a work of progress, but you know, it's a start. The top rows are kind of like the ones I use the most. I have messages, calendar, camera, settings which are, you know, you guys know what they are. Then we have Strava. Strava is basically like a running app or you can like track your workouts. And this is mine, zero miles ever in this week. Well, let's not talk about that. If you want to follow my Strava, I think it's just Jocelyn Leon. Maybe, I could be wrong. But it's just an app that I can track basically my workouts and my runs and then my coaches and whoever follows me can kind of see how my run went or you know you get it then i have clock facetime photos mail and notes i've been using notes really frequently recently i've been doing like a task list almost so i have this task list and it's called jay's task list and it's literally so long then i have my widget smith that's just a picture of me and austin at the beach and then i have my first folder now this folder is like pictures and videos um, I have YouTube and then YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is just kind of like to see all the data parts of your channel. Then I have Pixar. I don't really use this app unless I'm doing something for a thumbnail, but it's basically where you can just add stickers and stuff. Super cool. And then I have Fonto. Fonto is the app that I use to put any text over my thumbnails. Then I have Facetune and Vietnam? Sorry, I just got a call from Vietnam. <laughs> that was so weird. Anyways, then I have Facetune, which I also use for sometimes my thumbnails or fixing up last minute pictures. Then I have my drone app. Then I have Widget Smith, which is how I did this cool little picture thing. Instalink. I have um, the tiny Polaroid picture printer thing, and that's what I use to get the pictures off my phone onto a Polaroid. I have Lightroom, which is an editing app. I literally love Lightroom. Then I have Google Drive. Then I have the Weather Channel, Facebook, Pinterest, Visco. I have been using Visco so, 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 so much. I love Visco if you wanna follow it. I believe it's just Jocelyn Marie with two I's and two E's. Just like my Instagram, I post pretty much everything on Visco that I don't really like post on Instagram or that I do post on Instagram. I don't know, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Super cool if you want to go check it out. Then I have my health folder. I have Stokard. I don't know why this is in here, but it's underneath health and it has been for a couple years. So we're just going to leave it there. It's basically this app where you can put your cards that are on your keychain onto an app. So then you don't have to like fiddle through your keys or have like 
bunch of stuff on your keychain and you basically you just select um, whatever you want and you scan it whenever you're there. Then I have Core Fitness, which is just my gym app. And then I have Actual Fitness, which is connected to my Apple Watch. Then I have Health, which is the health app, my Apple Watch. Cardia is a app that I have connected to my ECG monitor um, for my heart rate issues. <laughs> and then I have Flow, which is a period app. So then on the next page, I have my Widget Smith again. That's me and all my friends, my cross country teammates. I literally love them. I have WhatsApp. I use WhatsApp for um, my cross country group chats. Then I have Park Savannah, which is such a convenient, oh my gosh, such a convenient app. If you live in Savannah or even like a big city I'm sure they'll have an app for your city where there's like tons of parking meters and stuff like that you don't have to like enter in a coin for a ticket you know you just go on the app enter in the space number and it's already connected to your card so so convenient I literally use it all the time if you're in Savannah download this app you'll need it then I have my SCAD order up which is just like my food um, that I can order at um my school. Then I have my SCAD folder. So I have Gmail and Outlook, which are just mail apps, SCAD app, the SCAD Fit app, which is our school's gym. I have Google Docs, Blackboard, which is just like our grading system and how we submit work. I have CSC Pay Mobile. That's how I pay for laundry. Then I have Google Slides and then of course Discord. Then I have Dropbox and then Zoom. Then I have Life360 and podcast. I've been listening to podcasts so, so often lately. And then I have my money folder. I have Romley, PayPal, and Amazon, Chick-fil-A, Venmo, Starbucks, Fetch. Oh my gosh. Fetch is also a really good underrated app that not a lot of people will talk about. I actually heard of this app through another YouTuber like years ago and I still use it. Basically, every time you get a receipt, you just scan it and you get points or these coins for your receipt and then you get to use them on you know gift cards and it's super cool i literally love it so convenient and then i have tropical smoothie and then dick's sporting goods and then nike and StockX. i love StockX. all my guy friends in savannah put me on this app um <laughs> it's just basically like shoe brands um that are either bidded on or at a much lower price and you know some of the things are super cool but it's um cheaper than getting them like from straight from the Nike website or whatever so then I have wallets and then I have my extra folder so here I have contacts group me which is a another group chat app that I use Bank of America Hulu Safari I use Google Chrome so I don't really use Safari same with maps I use Google Maps Fandigo which is a movie theater kind of ticket app that you can just buy and purchase them super easy and then I have DoorDash Amazon Alexa I have my app store and my Apple Music. I use Spotify. Sometimes I use Apple Music. I have both. Um, but if you want to follow me, I think they're linked down below, maybe. Then I have Twitter, the Apple Store, my Bible app, um, WMBF News, which is my local news station. I have pages, numbers, Netflix, Messenger, Clips. I never use Clips on this phone. I think that's new because on my old XR, I didn't update to, I think it was iOS 15 or something. Whatever the newest update is, I never updated my phone. I was just gonna wait. So some of these are kind of newish. I don't remember seeing clips on my other phone. Then I have Keynote, GarageBand, and iMovie. Then on my extra times two folder, I have reminder, shortcuts, calculator, voice memos, compass, measure, tips, iTunes store, and find my iPhone. Just those basic kind of apps, you know, that just come with your phone. Then for work, I have my Pirateland app. Um, if you want to go subscribe to the Pirateland campground YouTube page, uh, you totally should. If you're in the Myrtle Beach area, Pirateland is the best campground on the beach. And I highly recommend you go because it is so, so fun. Um, anyways, that's just the app for Pirate Land. And then Hot Schedules is just the schedules for my job in Georgia. So then I have my life folder. I have Get Upside. Um, it's kind of similar to Fetch. You just kind of keep your gas receipt and you like scan it and you get points. Or you can um, check in before you go to a gas station. And then LinkedIn, which is a really good job website. A lot of people at SCAD use this and it is quite helpful. You basically just have your bio everywhere you worked and stuff like that. And you make connections and that's how you get jobs. And then I have T-Mobile Tuesdays, which is basically a new deal every Tuesday. T-Mobile and then that's it I have some apps hidden I have snapchat Instagram and TikTok hidden as well as their notifications turned off just because 
I'm trying to limit down my social media time. Yeah, and then just down on the bottom row, I have my phone, Google Maps, Google Chrome, and my Spotify. If you want to follow my Spotify, you totally can. It's just Jocelyn Marie, I think, with two eyes and two E's. But I have a whole bunch of playlists that you guys can go follow and listen to. I like to think that my music taste is semi-okay. That's all. That's on my iPhone. I know that was super quick and super, like... Fast, quick and fast literally mean the same thing. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe to my vlog channel, and check out those other videos that I made with my previous phones. There might be some other cool apps you see on there that I just don't have right now. I will see you guys next week.